been there before, but he hasn't done that. This lightweight contender worked exceedingly hard to get back to a championship setting. And this may be his last title shot if we don't get the victory. Yeah, you, you can't not get there twice. When you're there, you got to win. Or you don't get the opportunity again. This guy put his head down and went right back to work from the moment he heard and still. He said that at some point, we would put the belt around his waist. He would put in the work. He would prepare. He's back here now, John. And he intends to be the champ. And when you suffer a setback, there are two ways to go. And this man went on the right trajectory. Really good to see him get back here. And now we find out he's got the goods to be a champ. Justin Gaethje and anyone else we want to throw in the mix. This is about as watchable a fighter as we have on the UFC roster, the former interim lightweight champion, El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson is just nasty from the elbows that he lands on the feet to on the back, the submission ability that he possesses. One of the most diverse strikers in the UFC and with a college wrestling background, every time you step with the octagon Ferguson, you know that you have your hands on and there's some fighters who just don't like training, right? Frank Mir would always say, I don't like to train. <laughs> Tony Ferguson loves to train. He'll go five or six hours hard. That's great. And from a work ethic standpoint, few guys are going to be able to match Tony Ferguson steps inside the octagon. He is ready to fight. of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's easy boss. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Lafayette and a man. And now, introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC. Lightweight champion of the world, Tony Alcacui Ferguson. Herb Dean, our referee for this Great. one. All right, early round action here, and all eyes, of course, are on Rafael Fazeev. He has vaulted to lightweight superstardom. And a lot of people believe in this matchup he's going to be able to have his way in the striking realm. Let's see how it plays out here early. Early round action here. Captain Hook lands on the kickboxer. Beautifully timed and placed there, and a strong way to start on the feet. Kickboxers love the high guard. The way to fight the high guard is to throw things around the side. That hook is a very good shot that can land against a guy with that tight high guard. Nice punch there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, Superman punch! advantage off the top of the show certainly paid dividends for him there a big shot lands for both guys oh, another dynamic strike there from tony ferguson former football player baseball player collegiate wrestler break dancer too by the way dc this is a man who is truly a plus athlete who can do it man that's a stinging jab you can tell he's been boxing his whole life yeah and he's popping over and over he's throwing it and he's a boxer so he throws it from a little bit of a different stance so it's not something the mma fighters used to see oh slips his head and counters with a hook nice job by ferguson oh, 
push kick there to the body. Just over two minutes, round one. Unable to connect with the right. Oh, there's an effective counter with a straight punch. And again, he's got the reach advantage that has certainly helped him manage distance here tonight. Ferguson not having it, stays upright. That one appeared to stun him. And now he lands a combination. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Oh, he's in trouble. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Nice kick landed there by Fazib. Oh, nice connection by him there, and that shot actually cut him open, champ. He was landing at a rate that was so high that you knew that something had to change or you would start to see the damage. He opens up a cut on his opponent. Well, that a work counter jab to the head by Fazib. Huh. Huh. Close out for the end of round one. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, there was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent, but this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with this cut on the cheek. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's Second round on the way. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round. Oh! 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 El Cucu's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Big ground Rubber guard for him now, DC. Some people believe this is nothing more than a stall tactic. What do you think the offensive fighter is trying to do? He needs to regain his posture, right? He needs to shove that foot down from around his neck, shove it down, build your base, get that arm free, and then get back to work trying to advance position to your ground and pound. Right? If you play in there, you can find yourself in a lot of danger if you're not careful. Fazeev gets up, he is back on the feet here. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. All right, well, that blow is bossing from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red, is nothing. Oh. oh, another heavy shot gets through. Back to his feet. Big left hand. Oh, oh right hand. Oh. And he blocks the shot there. El Cucu is blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. Oh, he's going to begin, bro. Ooh, nice leg kick. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has cooled, found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Head kick partially blocked. Oh, looking for the submission now. What is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. All right, so he lands again just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success. Saved by the bell. That's the end of the round. You heard the horn, and it came just as 
he was stunned by a huge shot right before the end of the round. So, saved by the bell. Back to the stool, 60 seconds with which to recover. We'll see if his corner can keep his head in the fight. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Ready. Round three of a possible five. Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd obviously getting behind both fighters. Both guys just brawling like crazy in that previous round. They both came with an idea that they were collecting 50000 extra dollars. And right now, I am certain that they're both going to receive that check. Fazeev's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Throwing that jab, no good. Back and forth we go. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Ferguson. Ooh, heel hook attempt now, and it looks locked in. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. that eventually he got him cut. He got to start throwing down. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Ferguson's right back to the full mount. Posters up now and lands a vicious head strike. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for it. Nice defense. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor, champ. The swelling started to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent, he got him. Going to try to take his opponent's back here, and he does. Ferguson's in half goal. Side control. Most fighters will tell you often. Setting up a submission attempt. Oh, he's got the Kamura position locked in now. Wow, somehow, some way he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will. And your Switching his stance, 
Ooh, going for a leg lock. Heel hook looks tight. Submission instead, right back to his feet. And now he's got the back. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, he got to his spot. Right All right, seems it. The fight's over. Tony Ferguson takes the judges out of it, gets the finish. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 56 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Tony El Capui Ferguson. All right, so the celebration is on for the boogeyman, El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. I get tired just watching him celebrate, never mind his training habits that are legendary, and he put forth one of his